we could see reality directly, we wouldn't need art because art is about piercing the veil to get to more of the reality than what we tend to reduce it to with our intellect. You know, reality is always more than what we can say about it. And art is a way to try to get to that. Art is about when you see an image in 3D, you're seeing it in a new light. The 3D uh, technology was for me a wake-up call of think again what actually is cinema. What is 3D? Is it a special effect or what is it? I'm just saying that to divide narration and spectacle, I think it's, it's wrong from the beginning. On an academic level, it's looked at as kind of a lowbrow thing, like, oh, it's more of just to make people go, wow. But why is that necessarily something that's less artistic than a narrative? I think what might be more interesting is can horror films use 3D not to send things out at the viewer, but to absorb the viewer into a world? People who do 3D should be sabotaging narrative. Yeah, you know? well, I try to do that. 3D is really there. From the beginning, its main problem is not how to shoot, but how to project. 4D might be harnessed to engage spectators in a whole new way to create activists of them, to make them care. How can our life have duration? Because at each moment, we're here in the eternal now. Cinema, when it is at its most cinematic, is more shamanic. The film often performs a kind of healing or cursing that a shaman can do. The shaman literally looks down on time as a king looks down on his kingdom from his castle. A shaman should be a king? No, kings should be shamans. The pleasure to me is wonder. The unexplored. The unexpected. I think he worked on writing what, what, what I would call incantatory prose. It was a kind of incantation. It was, you know, he, he wanted to be a sort of cosmic spectator upon the human race uh, and upon the, the universe in general. Like the late Mr. Wilde, I live in terror of not being misunderstood. Death. The realist. Long live.